Okay, we're going to take a run around the 60 acres. Hopefully the sun doesn't interfere with the video, but so, here we go. Everything off to the right here is all part of the property. That telephone pole up on the top or the power lines, those are on the property also. This is a food plot I've got in. It's got soybeans in there with the sunflowers. Another one, as you can see, this one's sunflowers. And then I planted soybeans beside it. This is an area where we went through and cleared out most of the scrub trees and pretty much what's left down through here is either walnut or hickory. So try to do that to let the walnut grow better and get you a forestry crop in the future. That hill in front of there, that's pretty steep. It doesn't really look that way on the video, but it's a challenge to get a four-wheel drive ATV up there. I used to have a trail through there, but I haven't been up it for several years. Down in there are some hieroglyphics on the rocks, some carvings from clear back in the 1800s. Names and such were carved into the rocks. A little blackberry patch. Last year we got about 15 quarts of blackberries off the property. We didn't work it real hard either. Okay, the hunting blind is actually not on the property, the 60 acres. 
I am sitting on the 60 acres or right on the line. This food plot right here to the right is on the property, but and that tree right there is on the 60 acres. So the hunting blind is just off of it. This post right here is the fence line, so everything to the left is not on it, everything to the right is. Taking a ride down here to go around this little food plot I've got in. We've seen raccoons, deer, cor, or uh, coyotes all in this little plot right here. These are all walnut trees here. We planted several years back. Again, doing that so that in the future there'll be a cash crop on the lumber. These are more walnut trees that we've planted in the past. Back in here is a little campground where we let the Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts every once in a while that our grandkids are in, they'll come out and camp along with some of the parents once in a while. This is the first time in several years that there isn't water running in this creek. We're under a little bit of drought right now. More beans planted in there. Another pretty good sized food plot down here. There's beans mixed inside of these this corn between the rows. And more walnut trees over here that we planted. This goes up about a hundred yards up into those trees. That's a nice bedding area for the deer. Right up there is a really nice tree. Well, the tree stand's pretty much shot now, but before I built the hunting blind, that was a really good spot to set. I'm gonna shut the video off now and then restart it just so I can break it into a couple segments. 
All right, still in the same spot. Started the video back up. Here we go. This is the fence line for the far end of the property right here. This gate has to be in here because the power line people have to have access for clearing this out. First set of power lines on the top of the hill are on the property. The second set up on the top of the hill are setting just off the property on the other side of the fence. We'll head up there. Another blackberry patch right here, along with these walnut trees that got quite a few blackberries out of this. This was probably the best spot. Like I said, this is the first time in several years this creek hasn't been running. This is actually Little Slough Creek. You can find that on the map, and it runs into Slough Creek, which goes into Perry Lake. Over to the left here, that's kind of a bedding spot for deer. It's really thick and brushy in there. This is the south property line right here. I've always thought that this might be a good place for a house up here if you got a dozer in and pushed the road up to it. We're not very far from Marion Road. We're heading down there now. Pretty steep right here. You can do it in two wheel drive. I know the video kind of deceives it and doesn't look like it, but it's a little rough. Fence lines right there to the right, about 25 feet.
crossing Little Slough Creek again. Little Slough Creek has got a rock bottom in it all the way up through the creek. All those crossings you can do even when it's full of water and such, you're not gonna sink out of sight in there, so. I've always thought this might be a good place for a house too. There's Marion Road right here, so wouldn't take much to cut a road over here and have a nice building with a walkout basement sitting right here in front of us somewhere overlooking down into the creek bottom. We planted these oak trees along here several years back. This is just a trail we've got that cuts out onto Marion Road. Now the creek right here is on the property. That tree is basically the property line, so everything this side of the creek is on the property, the other side is not. This is Marion Road, and it is not a maintained road. They do come through and grade it every once in a while, but they don't pour gravel on it, so when it gets wet, it turns kind of muddy. Here's back where we started. See right here, be another position that might be a nice place to put a house overlooking down through the bottoms there. Thanks for watching.